and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink, this is Europa Universalis 4. When we last left off, uh, we were sort of stuck playing a bit of a waiting game, I'll be honest with you. Um, Mongolia... We're, you know, waiting... Uh, number of different things. One, for this war score to tick up high enough that we can actually piece out and take this bit of land. As you can see, they are almost willing to. Buddhist zealots, which you wouldn't think Buddhist zealots would even be a thing. Um, hmm. So my options here are kind of limited. Uh, I can go to war against... You know, I can go to war against Ming, I can go to war against Korea. Just don't have the troop strength to go to war against Ming. They have 56,000, unless they waste their troops doing something stupid. Next, I should just go fabricate claim there as well, make my cost less for coring. Debating whether or not I should go to war with Korea. Uh, reason why I would want to go to war with Korea is essentially because they have land and they're not allied to Ming. Um, and the more land I have, the more troops I have, or at least if I can get them as a vassal, I can force them to come into a war against Ming. Uzbek has announced Manchu as their new rival. Option would be if I took those oh, your vassal who's back now. So let's see, who do I know with largest armies? Ming, Ottomans, Timurids, Muscovy, Poland, Mamluks. Who's back twenty thousand? So if I went to war and sort of let Ming do all the talking, or all the walking, or all the all the everything really, let's be honest. Let them pull all the weight. Grab that and this. There we go. Extra tech there. Probably should have done it the other way around. Grab the idea and then. some money. There's a point five six, sure, there you go. Uh Briatia. Integrate once we get to Who's back? I'll definitely rival you. Fifteen eleven. It's quite a few more years. So issue, issues that we have at the moment. I need to find a way to get to war that would bring Ming in against Uzbek. Ming would come in against Uzbek right now. Uh, so let's first of all just go, hey Mongolia, declare war. Just go over there, 
take their land, kill them pretty quickly. Colony is self-sustaining, that is awesome. You come down here. We will siege through this. And then what I'll do from there, I will go to war with the Oirat, bring Ming in, hopefully Ming will go and... kill a bunch of them. Well, kill a bunch of their own troops, really. Let Ming do all the work, siege through everything, and then... Uh... Negotiate, I'll lose some money, that's fine. Pull you back. Unfortunately, I have to take a big loan for that. Guys, go here, here. My guys, there. You guys, come over here. Kill, I think. Really? Come on. Two thousand troops couldn't handle that. That's the way that you want to be, sure. Okay. Awesome. Let's go beat them. You guys just go back here and recover for a while, please. Probably shouldn't have taken that myself. Should have really given that to uh, Riatia. Let them uh, let them handle it. But I didn't think about that, so it didn't happen. in the treasury, and then I also want to repay this loan here.
Let's build more money making things up here. 0.75. Great. That's what I want. You, we can do that too. You, let's go to here and then here. So yeah, essentially at the moment, it's just sort of coming down to how and when do I organize this attacking Ming thing. Ming, 24,000 manpower. Well, not attacking Ming. Well, yeah, attacking Ming, really, let's be honest. Claims, I think. How's this war going? I'd like to wait a little bit longer. Though I suppose it's probably better to do it now than later. Okay, so, vassals. Uh, let's change your stance to supportive. Meanwhile, we will let Ming do basically all the work. Waste all their manpower sieging through everything, which would be nice, because hopefully it'll give me some land. Uh, maybe I can even vassalize the Oirat. But also, it will kill their manpower. 27,000, 54,000 troops. They're going to march in. Hopefully, you can do a bunch of sieging. all their manpower and all their troops doing something that I don't really even care about also you I want I want Uzbek to be or I want Oirat to be a yeah, see I mean look at how much attrition they're just going to suffer just waiting there and if not I mean hey they're going to do literally all the work for me so that and then hang in there and wait I guess yes waste your troops Ming waste your troops look 20,000 manpower already gone they're down 10,000 troops just because of that one fight Yes, good. Circle of Arrival, Kazan. We get Kazan to like us. Where is Kazan? Kazak, Kazan is there. I probably could, actually. I'll take that mission. Ming 
Everything's doing its whole I don't really know how to fight thing. Oh Ming, you're so dumb. So so dumb. You're really dumb. How could you not notice? This was my plan all along. Get you to waste all your troops and manpower attacking into like Nowheresville and We're already down. They've already burned forty thousand manpower. They have ten thousand more troops than when they started, but again they've burned a ton of manpower. And that's just in those few battles that they've ran into. Man, oh man. This is going to be good. This, I think, will be the the thing that breaks Ming if I can get them to waste sort of everything on this fight. Okay, uh, let's go there. I do want to get that. Conversion successful. Awesome. I still have huge negative penalties until 1511. 0.7 to 5, that'll get me a bit more money. Does Ming have a claim on this one? Yeah, they do. They wanted that. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind. Again, kind of fifty two thousand troops. Uh, what what actual decisions do I have? Um, so when I'm at war with Ming, uh, my ruler is general. I'm at war with Ming. I have the next set of stuff. Wait, is that Green Standard Army or is that eight banners? Okay, Green Standard Army is there. Okay, so eight banners, stability of at least one, and my ruler is a general. I get to spawn an army. Reform, I need all that stuff to be finished. Oh, what is her province? That's her province there. So bad at everything. Okay, I guess I should go and kill you since you are. And I guess I'll let my vassal go and do. do their own thing for right now. I'm decent at killing things. I 
See, so this is the goal. See, Ming has now wasted, you know, 60-some thousand troops. Dealing with ways essentially not all that much in terms, like, not making a lot of huge amount of progress there. I'll be honest with you. Um, they've just lost a lot of troops for it. Which is kind of what I was wanting to begin with. And if they continue like this, I think I can go for quite a while before they actually make any sort of real moves to, you know, stop fighting. These guys. Kazan, you are at Um, no, that's not what we wanted. Oh, uh, you know what? Forget it. I don't care about that mission anymore. It's stupid. Now, you... I want Oirat to be my vassal. 74% war score total. Which I think we can do by getting these. Uh, losing money. I don't quite know why. Means down to 37,000 troops and no manpower. You just broke a siege you were about to finish for no real reason. Awesome. I mean, at the very least, I'm using Ming to basically hugely improve my own, uh... sort of country... size. Dog is there. Well, I'm definitely going to do that next. I just got to... Excellent. Colony is self-sustaining. There you go. This will gain me quite a bit of money down here, I think. I mean, provided, you know, I actually finish colonizing it, that'd be nice. Religious unity, well, I'd love to, but that's going to take a while. Ah, uh, Ming, now down to 27,000 troops. Only I could do this in such a way that I could get out of the war and then go to war with Ming immediately. Let's actually see. Ming. His royal ties are going to be a problem there. Okay. Well, we'll have to pick this up next time. So, I'm Manic Mink. This is European Universalis 4, and we'll see you later. Take care.